You there. Do you serve the Seventh Legion? Captain Wardusha's wounds are too great. He cannot dry up like a puddle on the desert sands. He deserves to meet death like the mighty warrior he is. You there. Do you scout for the Imperial invaders? Is that why you passed this? Captain Hellenus and her Imperial troops stole the old tower right from under us. We returned from our patrol to find the position taken by Imperial runs. They must have known we were... Doesn't matter now, does it? The Imperials got in, and the border post is lost. I have a dying request. Bring... In trying to retake Old Tower, I have won only my death. But there is still honor. I can think of nothing but taking care My sister wives, Shagram Gradumba and Shamush Gradumba, will look after me. They know what to do. If I die while you are gone, that is Moloch's will. As long as my death has honor, I have no sorrow in its coming. That one of us is still nimble. I couldn't get any further up the slope than this. In the confusion of your violent entry and exit, they won't notice their papers were disturbed. Sometimes Rowdy is better than Sly. Of course. And because of your actions here, they will never find the magic weapon Chancellor Thorne wants. That's good news for the Covenant, and possibly for all of Tamaril. Why, we're heroes! <laughs>
darker here by the damn hour. Reachmen are right down there. Came in by boat, took the lighthouse, and now they're crawling up in the woods. Captain Hurens fought the bastard's leader before, Strasnok. He says we're outmatched and we have to just wait them out. I say the captain's a few links shy of a full chain. With our defenses weakened? Absolutely. Captain's ordered us to hold back, but not you. And he did say we need more outside help. Morale's been down in the dung heap since King Eamon died. I won't lie to you, friend. Things are grim. The king and his heirs are dead. Our forces decimated. Crows are everywhere. People have lost. The king's brother, Duke Renchant. He's at least acting as regent right now. Should have been Queen Argella who took over. But she's not been herself. Understand? I wouldn't say that. They just don't know him. Renchen's doing the best he can with what he's got. He's taking action. He's the one who put Captain Huron in charge of defenses. I'm trying not to hold that against him, though. I shouldn't talk bad about the Captain. He's probably the right man for the job. He's a Nord, and he's fought the Reachmen before. With most of our officers dead, the Duke only had so many op- Sir Jarnet? Poor old sot. He was escorting Princess Alara when she got ambushed and killed. Jarnet would have been better off if he had died there, too. I thought the Queen was going to have him executed. He got off lucky, really. Beats the oblivion out of me. Ever since King Aemon died, they've been showing up all over the city. With all their cackling, it's a damn plague.
Aha! For Knucklebone, for my necklace! So you're the one wreaking havoc down there among those hawkers. I've tangled with a reachman or two in my day, and my helmet's off to anyone who charges into their ranks that way. Don't you have old Strasnock's head? Shows bones. Somebody buy this crazy bastard a cup of mead. If you like to cut off reachman heads, you've come to the right place, my friend. Good. Take your time, though. Rest up. You burnt it. The Duke will know of your deed. And you can go see him in the castle when you're ready. He'll reward you. If you have a moment, I would appreciate a word. Pardon my intrusion, but I would speak to you on behalf of Queen Argella. I am her handmaiden. The Queen has heard of your recent accomplishments. He is. The Queen stepped aside, but she remains the rightful ruler of the kingdom, and she still cares deeply for its people. Even now, in mourning, she attends to wounded soldiers and refugees. Quite frankly, she's concerned about the city's defenses. But of course, she cannot publicly question the Duke's policies. This is why we were hoping you could discreetly... Her Majesty would ask you to inspect the defenses at the East Gate, and ask the former guard captain, Sir Jarnet, for his assessment of the Duke's strategy. If you are willing, the Queen... I know Her Majesty would appreciate if you gave these matters the highest priority. After you've completed your investigation, come speak to the Queen at the Chapel of St. Pelham. Sadly, I expect you are most likely to find him in the tavern, drinking away his sorrows. After Princess Alara was killed while under his... By no means does she wish to reinstate him, but Sir Jarnet was the captain of the guard here in Evermore for more than a decade. He was a longtime friend of King Aemond as well. If we knew that, we wouldn't have to ask for your assistance. The bottom line is that the Queen deferred to Duke Renshin because she believed he was better suited to defend the city. Now, she simply wants to make sure... Just vague rumors. Let's face it, our forces were devastated in the last battle with the Reachmen, and there is no doubt our defenses are stretched thin. We just... With the city in such dire straits, the Queen is determined to avoid controversy. If people heard she was inquiring as to the state of the city's defenses, there were... This is absurd! I've come For speaking the truth, nothing more. The Imperial Army has just conquered the large... Because I have just come from Holland Stan. The Imperials infiltrated the city and seized it overnight. They enslaved... They said I was spreading half-truths and paranoid delusions. They said the people here have had enough fear with the Reachmen. Truth is silenced! It is the people who are shadow people! I, the North, with fearful eyes. But it's from the with an open mind one hears truth. No! The telling has already been done. I am here to listen. I'm a crow. What more do you need to know? Everything. When with the gifts? 
Over here, Initiate. Greetings. I have a message for you from the Lost. Miss Indeed. She has a task for you. You'll want to speak with her as soon as you can. Who are you? Can't you see I'm having a drink with my friend here? Might as well embrace the crows. They're here to stay. With 15 guards and a couple quivers of arrows? Not a chance! Everyone's dead. The king. Renchant, sure. He's realistic, at least. He knows we can't last a day unless we get some help from the outside. Of course, the new guard, Captain Huron, doesn't seem to want any help. Sure enough, Huron said he's exploring other options. Don't know what those options are. Don't hear much down here, though. See? When there's no knowledge in the tops of towers, check the bottom. One can witness the larger view from on high. But one must come down with the light. Hides in shadows, but only there. A secret told is no secret. You're welcome to Evermore, stranger. You look like someone who's seen your share of battle. And in a time like this, that makes you a valuable commodity. You should speak with... So much suffering. So much death. Like my husband and my children, this soldier gave her life forevermore. I wish I could offer her more comfort, but I can only pray with her to gods whose mercy I have come to doubt. Many others are enduring similar losses. I deserve no more compassion than they do. In truth, knowing they share my grief has been a great consolation. You are not here for grieving, though. Oh, of course. Glerica told me. I hope you'll forgive her. Her intentions are good, but she misled you. That request was not on my behalf. She can't seem to accept my... I would, but at another time. I hope you understand. Losing my family... I just need time, and I believe this is how I can... Thank you for respecting my wishes. Perhaps you can convince Glerica to do the same. She's already off again, investigating some ship at the docks. These matters are the Duke's concern now, and he had... Blessings of St. Pelin be upon you. What brings you to the House of the Divine? Ah, yes. Our namesake. He's a lesser-known saint. St. Pelin was a simple beetle who tended to the soldiers of Bankerai Garrison. This was long before the knights who bear his name. Vampires, wolves, and faceless shadows that made up a mighty army known as the Grey Host. No one bothered to inquire. More than mere slaughter, I should think. Whatever their motives, when they crashed upon the walls of the garrison, the vampires screamed their dark curses and slammed their claws and leathery wings into the gates of the fortress. St. Pelin knew that only... Indeed, the vampires set upon him and began to devour him. But seeing his great courage, our Lord Stendar filled St. Pelin with an ocean of blood such that the... So struck by his sacrifice were the soldiers of the garrison that they seized the moment and pushed a tottering battlement down upon the creatures gathered before the gate, destroying them. And every word of it truth. May we all learn from his example to give of ourselves what we can for our friends. She's doing Mara's good work, my child. Queen Argella has a warm heart that finds no comfort in the palace, she came here shortly after the death of the king. Not all nobles are born to rule. Her royal highness finds her true calling in the simple joys of good work and charity. She would have made a... Give us room to breathe. And it doesn't mean we can rest on our laurels. I know. It's only one victory, your grace. But I hope it's a sign of more to come. I do too, but that's going to require more work on both our parts. And... And there's nothing for it but to get it done. You're dismissed, Captain. Aha! Uh -huh. You must be the hero whose bold deeds Captain Huron was just recounting. Retaking the lighthouse may seem trivial, 
But in times like these, it's you. As I expected, your reputation precedes you. You've become something of a legend in the kingdoms of the Daggerfall Covenant. You're certainly welcome in Evermore. Indeed. Then by all means, tell me what you discovered. Oh, yes, I'm well aware of this. It's unfortunate, but the terms the guild demanded were downright rapacious. Furthermore, the number of mercenaries... They... I opened our gates to the refugees, but there are limits, and that man was completely mad. Standing outside the castle, shouting that we were all going to die. The people of Evermore. So you saw those? You are very perceptive. The truth is that we found an ally to help defend the city. Yes, that is the ship that transported the supplies. There are more supplies being offloaded even now. Please, if you'll just be patient, I'll share all the details in due time. For now, you must stay away from that ship, though. It's off limits. Listen, I can tell that you have an inquisitive nature, and I know your intentions are good, but I cannot risk revealing all my plans just yet. I'm sure that you realize that with the Reachmen bearing down on us, I have a great many matters to attend to. I absolutely do not wish to be rude, but I must be going. Come back another time and I will endeavor to answer all your questions. The captain of the Buellsay Queen still hasn't furnished me with her manifest. I suspected smuggling, but the guard won't... Can't you see I'm busy? Hey, you! What are you doing slinking around my ship? Honey boat! Honey business! Hmm. Crows on the ship, with the crows on the ship. South Rising City Wall. One carries the key to open the door. Approach my cave. Honey boat! Honey business! I don't take kindly to people snooping around my dice game. From the sides! I think perhaps I had our assignments wrong. I should have checked the stocks and sent you to check the ship. I shouldn't have come here on my own, but I had a feeling the Duke was making bad decisions. Of course, calling this a bad decision would be an understatement. If we don't do something, he's going to hand the city over to Imperial control? The Queen is going to have to take charge. If this doesn't knock her into her senses, I don't know what will. We need proof, though. Can you untie me and then look around? Anything to prove what they're planning.
You just missed it. The ship's captain left the ship and headed toward that alley to the south. She looked like she was in a hurry. What did you find, though? Anything that reveals more about their plans? The gorbellied bastards! I knew that ship was carrying more than just supplies. We need to move fast. Can you follow the captain and find out what she's up to? Then take the proof to the Queen. If this doesn't wake her up, nothing will. I'll go and find Sir Jarnet and any other guards who remain loyal. After you've informed the Queen, come and meet me outside the inn. Your cargo's unloaded, and I'm here for payment. I hope you don't come to regret this, Huron. If I come to regret this, I'd probably be dead anyways. I don't expect you to understand, Captain. Here's your payment. Thanks. When are you and your allies making your move? I want to make sure I'm long gone by then. We're arming everyone up at the weapons cache in the South Alley in just a few hours. So I'd set sail right away. Kind speed you, Captain. I'm getting out of Evermore, and I advise you to do the same if you know what's good for you. Somehow I had a feeling I'd see you again. Tell me, has Glerica gotten herself into trouble this time? Or is it that the Duke didn't take kindly to you questioning his decisions? Oh, come now, you can't expect me to believe that. Has Glerica resorted to trying to deceive me now? <laughs> this is a jest, right? Surely, Duke Wrenchant would never even consider such a thing. I can't believe what I'm reading. How could Wrenchant be such a fool? Has he given up on defending the kingdom and decided to accept the lesser of two evils? This is simply mad! Of course not, though I can blame myself no less. I'm the one who trusted the fool. He's apparently just a damn coward. You know, Aemond told me Renshin was naive. You've now given me proof of this fact. If the Imperials take Bankrai, it will be a fatal blow to the Covenant. We can't allow Renshin to do this. Damn it. He's leaving me no choice but to take back the throne. I know Glerica will be pleased to hear that. Where is she, by the way? Smart girl. She always has been. I suppose I should have listened to her. Very well. We need to do this smoothly. The city has suffered enough. We don't want a battle in the streets. We need to take time to do this right. How much time do we have? Gods, there goes that idea. You must root out these spies right away then. Do not use weapons though. That will cause a panic and I don't want that. Find Glerica and Sir Jarnet and figure out another way. After you've ensured the city is safe, meet me in the castle and we'll deal with Duke Renchant. The poor fool probably doesn't even realize he's committed treason. May the gods keep you, my courageous friend. No, he needs to watch his cowardly little plan crumble first. I want him demoralized before we confront him. I also want to think about exactly what- Friends, fools and fools, hard to know which is which, or who is who. Choose poorly and wind up dead. A witness I was, and nothing more. But if a crow can spy someone, so can a spy. But you know the true threat now. Imperials! Now, you must listen to me. You, Ella, they call me. Those that follow. From the reach we come to conquer this land. But the enemy of an enemy is a friend. So I am a friend. My Reachmen march this way. Evermore will be ours. But not if Imperials have it. They are a threat right now for you and me. You need friends. Let us be friends then. And join together to beat our common foe. Temporary truce. Neither wants Evermore Imperial. We work together. Destroy the Imperials. Then we are enemies again. I like it not myself, but you have no one to help you now. The old you cannot strike down spies, but my crows can. Pretty little pets. Mark our foes, signal my crows, and we will strike. We will 
one thing you should... Ah, another sharp-minded citizen. Do you also prefer not to be ravaged by Reachmen? Strength. That is the only thing that will stop the invaders. Where can we find a strong army? Why, the Imperials are only a few days' march to the south. Join me, friend. Let us give... <laughs> I promise you, Evermore is doomed without Imperial assistance. Help us. Help us take the city from the Covenant, and we will usher in a new day. A day of security and self-respect. Even the Duke has a... Ah, did you hear the voice of reason and come to listen more closely? The Reachmen are at the city's doorstep. Something must be done. Simple. Surrender the city to Imperial control. If the Imperials have evermore, the Reachmen cannot attack. I liked you, friend. I did. I'm sorry it had to come to this. apparently run off to avoid facing me. After what he's done, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Excellent. Then dealing with the rat I let into the castle is all that remains. If we can just find whatever hole he's scurried into. No, oh, but what about Sir Jarnet and Glarica? No. <laughs> Glarica. Glarica is gone? But why? She was an innocent young girl. I knew the Imperials were heartless, but do they have no honor at all? Richard, he's responsible for this too. Where is- Yes, he's actually most likely to be down in Aemon's private rooms. Unworthy swine that he is. Will you come with me? I could call the guard, but it might be better- Richard, you bastard! I rue the day I gave you the throne! What you've done is nothing less than treason! Welcome back, Argella. Good work. First, you ran this kingdom into the ground. Then, you dumped it into my lap. Now, the two of you repay me by sabotaging my plans and destroying any hope we had of surviving the Reachman attack. Of course they were. Have you seen the Reachman's numbers? You think you can take them all on yourself? You cut off one head, but there are thousands more, and they are barbarians. You've doomed the people of this city to a fate worse than death. Whatever it was, the alternative was death. Listen, there's nothing more to say. If you expect me to apologize and plead for mercy, you're out of luck. I was doing the right thing. Lock me up if you must, but I don't deserve death. Very well then. Argella, my fate is in your hands. You know I made the only rational choice. I wouldn't call it rational, Renchant. I would call it cowardly. Amund died defending this kingdom, and you'll die for betraying it. Now that he's been dealt with, we have real work to do. Please, meet me outside. <laughs> 